Come on. This way. This way. Let's go this way. Good girl. No. This way. This way. Come on. Come on, Zoe. 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 <laughs> no! Zoe! Come on! Come on, come on! Zoe! Come on! Come on! Come on! Let's go this way! This way's fun! This way's fun! Good girl! Hey guys! Janaima! I'm back! <laughs> uh, I don't know if I remember how to do this! <laughs> oh yeah, you just kind of start talking or something all right so uh, again really cloudy today again I swear it was sunny a little bit sunnier when I was gone but this summer man it's just been so cold and rainy for some reason I don't know this whole 2014 weather thing situation anyway um, so yeah I'm back I'm well rested and refreshed and healthy again and uh, yeah I'm ready to make more videos for you guys so what uh, for those of you who watched my last video I well last two I was sick and then I thought I had this uh, allergic reaction to these antibiotics that I took that I'll never take again, hopefully. Um, and I went to see a dermatologist and it turned out that that's not what it was. Um, what it actually was was just bugs. Uh, I got an itch itchy rash from bugs biting me, so he says it's, it happens quite often and, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess uh, I'm delicious or something. Anyway, so I got I got desperate and saw this dermatologist, but because uh, this rash was starting to go to, to my face, and I didn't want a big ugly rash on my face. Um, but last weekend, a couple days ago. After a couple of days of juicing, I was able to pretty much fully recover. Um, and the itching is gone, and I still have these giant red marks from the rashes, but they no longer itch, and I'm pain free. So, yeah, I am well rested. Back to work for your entertainment. I'll see you later. Alright, this is my breakfast. What? No bananas for breakfast. Now I want to show you guys that I do eat some different things. And, um, yeah, some beautifully cut cantaloupe for breakfast. Why not? This whole thing's probably only a few hundred calories. 400, 500 at the most. So, yeah, looking pretty good. Ooh. Okay. Going to be having some juice, a couple ounces of uh, juice every every two or three days or so, just to keep my immune system healthy, working. Um, so yeah, got some carrots, some golden beets, kale, dill, and lemon. And you know what? I'm going to throw some ginger in here too, I forgot. And of course, I've got to have my banana smoothie sometime. Got some... Bananas and strawberries, that's it. Ten bananas, maybe five or so strawberries, and that's it. Good to go. Go get the ball. Where's the ball? Can you get the ball? Go get it. It's right there. There's two. Go get it. Go get it. Oh, give me here. Give me that. Can I see it? Oh, ready? Ready? Go get it. Oops. Good girl. Come here. 
You wanna go pee? Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, come on. Jackpot. Ooh, good deals this week. Okay, because my wife's working late tonight, and I'm not going to be eating dinner till late, and I didn't eat quite enough today. Um, I had a little bit for dinner already. I had a half a cup of lentils, because this is what we feed our dog, and um, the rice cooker was cooking these up as I was coming home. So they were nice and hot. Um, and then I also snacked on about six or seven cherry tomatoes since I did see them on sale this week. Um, so I'm going to eat a whole bunch of these this week. And I wanted to eat a bunch more, but I decided to stop. And uh, I was like, you know what, I'm going to eat and a little bit later. So I just grabbed a banana and snacked on that too. Okay, I'm on the block three now. I'm on day 60 yoga and here are the workouts that I missed so I've got to make up day 48 MMX and day 50 through 53 of the transition week so I have no timetable to make these workouts up but there you go five workouts to make up might just throw them at the end we'll see had maybe the best yoga I've ever had um, maybe not I don't know but I know one thing that I felt wonderful during that workout um, and I am slowly progressively getting stronger um, getting more agile and um, just increasing the flexibility with every single workout that I'm doing and this is the workout where that really shows um, during the yoga workouts um, how much you're actually improving how much waste your body is eliminating and yeah so don't skip your yoga workouts guys um, especially if it's just a half hour um, shout out to boogie congrats buddy keep it up 
Um, for those of you who haven't seen Boogie 2988, he is a 550 pound man who is attempting to save his life through DDP yoga. Man, I congratulate you. Thanks for taking the foot first step for for all of us. And, and like DDP told you, um, you're you're going to be an inspiration to many. So um, just remember that. And if if I have one thing to say to you, coming from someone who's dropped a lot of weight, um, then my advice to you would be just to take it day by day. Um, every day is going to be a challenge. Um, even after a couple years uh, of this, after after you drop 200, 300 pounds, um, it's going to be a daily battle. It's going to be a daily struggle. And if I have to say a second thing to you, um, I would really consider going vegan and you said you don't think you would now um, but once once you once you start this lifestyle and then you rebound a little bit and then you bounce back and then you rebound a little bit you, you're gonna do that it's it's but just if you take it day by day one step at a time um, it's gonna lessen the rebound but my biggest um, I guess the best thing I've done is gone vegan and especially high carb low fat vegan because I am able to eat till I'm full eat till I'm satisfied and I am also maintaining my weight with a minimum amount of workout uh, only a half hour per day really otherwise I am sitting at my desk otherwise I'm sleeping otherwise I am just sitting on my couch editing videos and you know doing stuff around the house but half hour is really the minimum you really need to do every day three hours a week um, at least so boogie good luck um, and I know you can do it I know you can do it buddy take care And for dinner tonight, oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Got a nice big pot of potatoes and beans, looking good. And got some leftover tomato puree, gram masala. Got some organic marinara, going to be finishing that off. This, is, this has been awesome, Trader Joe's, so got to make a trip soon to get more. And got some tomato paste. I'll probably eat a little bit of that, too. And, of course, some rice. And what you got there? What's that? Wow. Cauliflower. Cauliflower, onion. Tomato. Tomato. Good. And homemade vegan cheese sauce. We'll have to make a recipe video. Hitadakimas. <laughs> and here is the chronometer for day number 30. So this morning I had a cantaloupe, a little lower on the calories than I thought. And here are the contents of my juice that I had. Also had a nine banana smoothie for lunch. And realized that I didn't really get the calorie intake in the morning that I usually do and came home had a little pre-dinner um, before my workout so yeah everything amounted to 3200 calories 95 grams of protein 721 grams of carbs less than 12 grams of fat so again you guys have seen this before not much has changed 3% fat no B12 today, but keeping the potassium high, sodium low. That's what we want to see. And look at all these amino acids. That's what we want, guys. 
Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys um, really quick my diet the last two weeks. Um, so yeah, here I think this is where I got started getting sick right here. So as you can see, kind of took the day off. Um, 1,500 calories, pretty low. 3,000 um, 3, and less to 2,500 for the next couple days. Um, as I started to recover, I shat back up a little bit and slowly went down. Shat back up, slowly went down, and then, you know, it's just been a roller coaster ride ever since. So if you are sick, um, you know, take a break. Your body needs a rest from digesting, and definitely. Um, start getting in those juices that really helped me out um, here's some weight gain since I started really um, yeah so I've actually gained a lot of weight but you know my weight has been bouncing all over the place no matter what diet I've been doing how much exercise I've been doing uh, this is this is the weight I've been I've been jumping around from as low as 173 174 all the way up to 188 pounds um, it just happens when you're drinking uh, 40 to 50 pounds of water and food every single day you know your weight is gonna fluctuate depending on what time you weigh in um, depending on what you just ate depending on if you just took a shit so Really, it doesn't really matter, um, but I think I will eventually lose weight, and I'm projected to lose weight. And then here's my calorie intake since I started. I wish I could go out a couple weeks more. It jumps from eight weeks to six, three months, and um, yeah, Chronometer needs to get on this, and we need to be able to customize these charts a bit more. Um, but here, here's my predictions. So I'm around 27 BMI right now. But over time, with this diet and lifestyle, you know, you're only going to slowly get down to where you want to go. And, and Chronometer has it right here. So I'm in this for the long haul, guys. All right. That's the end, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. I am so happy to be back, and I'm ready to finish this thing off strong. So tonight, I'm going to be making a toast to Boogie and congratulate him on the first step in his journey. And I'm taking a shot tonight of some aloe vera juice. This really helped me out when I was sick. There's tons of healing properties about the aloe plant, and I was uh, drinking this every day um, just a little bit. And I also had some of the jelly, and I was rubbing on the rash that I had, too, for the itching, and that helped tremendously. I was able to sleep. Um, but a couple last words to Boogie. Like I said, take this day by day. Every day is going to be a battle uh, for years to come for you. Um, you're going to wake up a little bit after week two, and you're going to be like, oh, i got to do this again. Uh, today I just want to play video games or I just want to hang out with my wife or just want to play video games or you know I get it and it's a struggle but those are the times when um, you really got to dig deep and you know have in, the, in your heart what uh, your goals are and what you really want to accomplish and where you want to be next week next month, next year, and I got to tell you, in the past four years since I started my own journey, I've never once regretted ever working out. Um, there were many times where I fought to not begin, not start my workout, but, uh, you know, I press play anyway, so just, just press play on your DDP yoga and get it done and do your best and forget the rest and boogie i know you can do it i know you can do it so cheers to you buddy congrats on starting and welcome to the rest of your life cheers buddy kanpai <laughs>
Peace out.